Hello, my name is Caitlin Northcutt Pope, and I am the lead author on the article titled Association Between Executive Function and Problematic Adolescent Driving. My co authors on this paper are Dr. Despina Savrinos and Dr. Leslie Ross. These findings come from the Senior and Adolescent Naturalistic Driving Study, which was affiliated with the University of Alabama at Birmingham and the Pennsylvania State University. Motor vehicle collisions, or MVCs, are the leading cause of death for adolescents ages 15 to 20 years old, according to the latest data available from the CDC. In 2014 alone, there were almost 2,000 adolescent drivers who died from an MVC. Our study focused on executive function, or higher order planning and management of behavior, in 46 typically developing adolescent drivers between the ages of 16 to 19 years old. Driving is a complex behavior that involves or requires executive functioning to safely navigate throughout the environment. Previous imaging data has shown the brain region associated with executive functioning, the prefrontal cortex, to continuously develop into young age, making the case that adolescents may have underperforming or underdeveloping executive functionings during the first few years of driving. Although there are many ways to assess executive functioning, little research has utilized self-report methods to assess adolescent driving risk. This study was among the first to utilize the behavior rating inventory of executive function or the brief questionnaire as a potential predictor for problematic adolescent driving outcomes. Specifically for this study, we looked at three problematic driving outcomes. The first being, have they ever been pulled over by the police? The second, receiving a ticket from a police officer. And the third, having been in a motor vehicle collision. We found that difficulties with the planning and organizing subscale was associated with greater odds of having an MVC, being pulled over by a police officer, and having received a ticket. Specifically, for every 1.5 standard deviation above the mean on the planning and organizing subscale of the brief, the odds of having an MVC were almost four times greater for adolescent drivers. There was also a significant association between the inhibition subscale and having been pulled over by the police and receiving a ticket. No association was found between any, any self-reported driving outcomes and performance on the trail making task or backward digit span. Limitations of our study included a small sample size and the fact that analyses were not controlled for age and gender effects. Further research is needed with a larger, more generalizable sample to assess the effect of age, gender, and developmental disabilities such as ADHD, which has shown in the past to have an association with, the, with driving ability and risk. These findings show promise for the utilization of the brief, a quick and easy to administer questionnaire for clinicians when assessing driving ability or fitness to drive in typically developing adolescent drivers. It also opens possibilities to targeting specific cognitive domains with developing driver training interventions and programs. We invite you to read the full text published in the Journal of Developmental and Behavioral Pediatrics.